What is up, YouTube? I am back. Jab is back. Jab is black. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna build this distiller today. Distiller V2. We're gonna really get some good yields out of this. We're gonna get that gasoline, get that diesel, get that jet fuel. So I started with this construction tower, um, this old construction pillar. Had to make a flange out of some metal, as you see. Had to do it, you know, all by hand. You know me, that's how we do it. I'm like Bob Ross with metal. You know, just put a little flower here, a little waterfall there, a little butterfly behind the waterfall, you know what I'm saying? Put that flange on there, welded it all together nice and good. Uh, and then I had to design this crucible, and this is where the oil is going to go and get heated for then it to become a vapor, and then when it's a vapor, it'll go into this big column. So, crucible just made it out of two pipes. I was lucky enough to find pipes that had end caps already on them. It ended up looking like a giant pill, a, a giant Xanax pill or something, you know what I'm saying? So... Uh, with that being said, lined it all up, welded it all together. It wasn't a completely straight, but, you know, I didn't expect it to be when you're working with me. So, now I have to uh, get all of this old paint off this construction pillar because this thing is going to get hot. And if this paint, which is not ready for high temperature, burns, it probably will release tons of cancer dust. So, I just said, you know what, I'm going to put my respirator on, clothe myself up, and just get all this paint off. It was a painful process, but I did it nonetheless, as you see here. So, after the paint was off, I, I reckon it looks quite good. You know, it looks like almost like a rocket or something. SpaceX. You see, I have the lids, the flange on the top there. Looking good, right? And this is how the crucible looked. Did the same thing there. Ground off all the paint so we don't get cancer, dust everywhere. Then I had to build the furnace box to go around the crucible, which is going to be insulated to hell and beyond. And, um, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be hell in there, really, when you think about it. Because it's going to, you know, this is like the source of the flame. I put a burner uh, up under the legs of this crucible and you know what I'm saying we just bloody go crazy with it so at this point you know I, I got this box finished and keep in mind I, I did have I, I was recording this over the course of like what um two weeks or so so it took about two weeks to construct this thing of a lot of work uh then there were a ton of holes I had to drill in this distillation column a ton of holes. I had to drill holes. Um, well, one hole at the bottom. This is where the vapors will go in. The reboiler stuff will sink back down, go back down into the crucible. Um, and I also had to drill a ton of holes in the side for outlet ports and all types of stuff. Um, as you can see here, we need the ports for the vapors to go into the chamber itself. I was basing this off of the design of the petrochemical column distillations so that's why i have the feed coming in from the side i also put a port there for a view window now i also had to design these distillation plates these are what are going to go inside the column and help with the separation of everything So, cutting out these circles, I did it completely by hand with a cutting wheel on a grinder. So, they were going to be imperfect. They were never going to work, but, um, or they were never going to work like the best they could. But, you know, I would reckon I did a pretty good job in the end. I made all the circles nice and pretty even all the way around. And uh, at this point, once all the circles were cut, I had to drill like a thousand holes in every single one. So, basically, this works by the vapor has to. Uh, push through all of these holes that's going to increase the pressure increase the surface area in which it will react and what's going to happen is a lot of that vapor will condense on the top of these plates and form a, a layer of liquid on top and that layer of liquid will be suspended and held up by the fact that the vapor is under it and pressing it up so that will basically force the vapors to have to bubble through the liquids which will increase the separation of different products in this reactor or my bad, not reactor, this distiller. So after I drilled the thousand holes, I had to drill a bigger hole. And this is actually for what's called the downcomer. So I was saying there's going to be a layer of liquid above these plates. And eventually we don't want that layer of liquid to get too tall. Like it's just going to keep building up. So once it reaches the height of this downcomer, all of the va liquids will run down through that. And they will drip down to the plate below it. So after I did that, built four downcomers, built four uh, perforated distillation plates. 
it was time to weld it all together. So I welded the down covers to the distillation plates, as you see. It kind of ends up looking like some type of VR controller or something, right? <laughs> uh, this is the distillation column. The thing ended up being very tall, um, around eight foot tall. Uh, you see, I got it nice and painted, and it's time to install these distillation plates. So at some points, there were some tight fits. At some points, there were some loose areas that went through pretty easy. I kind of expected that because I cut these out by hand, like I said. I also put this rod between all of them so I can always pull them out if I need to. And also, it'll put them at the proper heights that I, um, I've i calculated for what I need. So at this point, I actually poured in some pyrolysis oil to kind of help lube everything up so I can actually get these plates in there. And you know what? I'll be damned. It actually worked. <laughs> it actually allowed me to really get these in there. But some of the oil did start to come out some of the sides, as you see there. But in the end, we got them in. And it was really satisfying when they all just kind of fell down like that. <laughs> so... Those are the distillation perforated plates, and overall, that is the plastic to gasoline distiller Mark II version two, baby, baby.